Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven. And in today's video, I would like to explain to you how to rename metadata terms uh, in a SharePoint document library. Uh, to be precise, uh, I'm not only going to explain how to rename uh, the metadata terms, but uh, also uh, what happens behind the scenes, the consequences of renaming uh, metadata uh, labels and tags. Uh, so as a use case, I have this invoices library and uh, I have some sample documents. And what I did, I created two columns. Uh, one is a choice column. Essentially, it's a column that I just created locally uh, uh, on this library. And it ha already has a few uh, you know, choices of uh, different departments. And then the second column um, also contains departments, but this uh, is uh, you know, essentially managed metadata. Uh, what that means is that uh, it's pointing to the term set uh, within the term store, of course, uh, that has a list of departments uh, defined as well. Just to show you, just to show you, I actually have this tab open right here. This, uh, this is my term store, and this is the list of uh, departments that we're going against uh, for this library. All right. So same information, but two different types of columns. Uh, but the reason I did this is because I want to explain a completely different behavior you're going to get. Uh, when you do need to rename the terms. I mean, things happen, right? And the labels, sometimes they need to change. Maybe you need to change the spelling, maybe the name of the department uh, or whatever client, whatever your tag is, has changed. You need to change it. Let me explain to you uh, the consequences of this. So I'm going to uh, change the name. Let's say I want to change this label from IT to information technology. So what you're going to do is obviously added the you know, the column, and now I can spell it out, uh, all right, just I'm changing the name of the label. Uh, obviously, we click Save. Uh, what you're going to notice is that the label itself, all right, the tag itself will not change, all right? If you were to, you know, tag, uh, you know, a new document, let's say, then obviously you're going to see the new choice, but it's not going to change. Uh, for the existing documents. For the existing documents, the old tag will apply, uh, will, will still apply, and it would actually you know, be there until you go back and try to change it again, all right? So unless you go back and try to change it, you see I'm trying to change the label, and now it forces me to choose, right? IT label essentially doesn't exist anymore. Uh, it pretty much forces me to choose the new label, all right? And now if you notice, uh, the new label will appear. Uh, so once again, with choice columns, the old label will still stick around uh, and it will only change when you, you know, try to retag the document and it will only present a new value at that point. Uh, it does behave a little bit different with uh, managed metadata, the metadata defined in the term store. So if I, let's say, need to change this term uh, again uh, from IT to information technology, we, of course, need to do it in the, uh, in the uh, term store. So I'm going to navigate here. I'm going to rename this term. And again, I am going to uh, provide uh, the new uh, spelling, all right, the, uh, the new name for this. So just like that. Click Save. So it obviously changes it immediately uh, within the term store. Uh, let's go back to uh, our library. Let me refresh the screen. Now, uh, it's not going to change right away, uh, but it is going to change within usually several hours, sometimes up to 24 hours, all right? Obviously, I don't want to uh, you know, have you wait for 24 hours of watching this video, but trust me, the label will change. And the reason for that is because with the term store metadata, there is a timer job that runs behind, runs behind the scenes, and uh, it just, I guess, you know, tracks all the different changes to the labels you made. And if I were to log in, you know, in a few hours uh, to this library, if I were to, um, you, you know, maybe within a day to, to, to check it again, uh, you will see the label then changed automatically. So with uh, managed metadata, you do not need to manually, you know, go ahead and retag things. Uh, the, the new name will take effect within a few hours, right? Uh, so that's essentially what I wanted to describe to you um, in, in this particular video. Uh, so another great benefit of using managed metadata, essentially the metadata defined in the term store, because 
uh, this way, if you need to change the name, the spelling, or the name of the label, uh, it's very easy to do, and you just have to be patient and wait a few hours, and it will take effect uh, at that point. All right. Uh, so that's all I really wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully, you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, uh, as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much, and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.